Good morning, good morning. Another beautiful day out here in Corona. This could be our last vlog out here in Corona, so it's a little sad, but they upgraded me at Balabinda to the rooftop room, which is pretty nice. So we're enjoying the rooftop the last couple nights. I'm so stoked that I got the first vlog out. And today we're heading to the main tour, one of the most popular and beautiful places in all the Philippines, Corona Islands. We're gonna be doing the Corona Island tour today. Is that Ian? Oh, that's Sato Adventures. Good morning. Oh, Paul, what's up, buddy? Good morning, mate. Good morning. Good morning. So the boys got to pay. You're such a baller, Paul. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce my buddy Paul to the vlog. I actually met him in Africa last year. Yeah, Africa. Africa, and it was my my GoPro days in Zimbabwe. <laughs> nice of you to join us in the Philippines, man. Yeah, man, looking forward to it. And Paul's been traveling the Philippines for the last like week and a half. Week and a half. Week and a half. He's got one more week left, and we're gonna head right now about two to three minutes and head to the port. We're about to go island hopping to the most beautiful place in all the Philippines, Coron Island. Yeah. Ugh. Let's see Daisy. We waited like 30 minutes for the van. We should have just walked here. It's literally one minute away, but our boat is already here waiting for us. And we're gonna be heading all the way over there. Again, I think the most beautiful place in all the Philippines. I'm super stoked for this. There's our boat guy. You boys ready? Yeah, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're good. <laughs> Julan? Nice to meet you, Julan. I'm your guide. All right. Our trusty, and fearless leader right here, Julan. And, the same time, I'm your captain. and our captain, our guide, the man. So we have specific spots that we're gonna go to. It's about a 15 to 20 minute boat ride, and we're gonna head to the first spot. I have no idea where it's at. Yeah, yeah. Seven cups. You got, you got, you got a bit quiet there, Marvin. I don't know. We, can, um, we got some trash talking right over here. Look, you shouldn't be even loud on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Marvin. <laughs> so the first stop we're going to is Twin Lagoon. This is crazy beautiful, holy smokes. I'm talking about this guy right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the first stop, we made it to Twin Lagoons. Uh, basically, it's like salt water and fresh water combining into one. So when you're swimming on the top, it's pretty warm, but when you go a little bit deeper, it gets cold, which is pretty cool. So right now, we're finding a spot right now. It looks like there's some boats over there, and we're gonna do a little swimming in the lagoons. Yeah, no, but there's so many more tourists. Yeah, this one boat, that's that's it. I'll take it, two boats. But, whew, totally an avatar. So it's kind of cool, the surface is cool, but once we jumped in, it's super warm down there. Once you go like five, 10 feet, but the surface is really, really cold. And uh, this is the first lagoon and we're gonna swim to the next lagoon. This is beautiful. You anyone alive up there? <laughs> So this looks like the entrance to the second lagoon. How are you doing, Marvin? <laughs> uh, I can't touch it. You can't? No. But it's not deep. Yeah. Mm. Look at this. Woo! Oh my goodness, so we made it into the second lagoon. I think we're just gonna swim here. I think this is the stop, right? We stop here? Yeah, we stop here and uh, enjoy it. The views are beautiful. We got Paul right over here. That's what I'm talking about with the views. <laughs> Floating away and uh... Yeah, this is, this is definitely a wake up. I mean, look at this. You got limestone everywhere and absolutely zero complaints. Welcome to Tuesday morning. <laughs> That was a great success. It's so unique, the spot we went to. Once you dive a little deeper, it gets a little warmer. Some spots are cold, some spots are warm. A ton of other boats just showed up. We had the whole place to ourselves. 
We're heading to Skeleton Shipwreck, I think that's what it's called, right outside of Barracuda Lake for another very unique spot. Great success. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So after a quick like five minute boat ride, we made it to Skeleton Wreck, which is right over there. So there's a ton of people right there. And there's supposedly pre-World War II, a Chinese ship that you can dive down over there. And then right on this side, we're gonna go snorkeling right after. So let's do a little transition and get the GoPro out. To the World War One or World War II ship. Pre World War II ship is right below us. Again, it's like a tidy ship, but it's such a cool experience. It's only about five meters deep, so if you could free dive, if you could dive, you could go right under there. And there's a good amount of fish surrounding us right now. I just drank, uh, I just drank some salt water. We're heading right now to the coral spot where supposedly it's really good for circling, right over there. And we're gonna check it out. <laughs> and we're gonna <laughs> and we're gonna check out some corals right now. I need to stop drinking this water. And this is a snorkel spot in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Might not have been the best snorkel spot, but the skeleton wreck definitely made up for it. We're standing like right in the middle of the sea. It was such a cool experience. Now we're gonna be heading to the lunch spot, which is like right behind me over there, and we're gonna be having lunch on a beach. All right, let's do it. Look at this, look at that water. Oh my goodness. And this is our lunch spot, and there's absolutely no one here. This is absolutely incredible. It's called, it looks like Beach 91. There's a sign over there. But look at this water. We got beautiful aqua blue water. We got limestone right behind me. This is our lunch spot. I can't believe this. Holy smokes. So which one is your hut? Uh, you... I think I'm gonna go for the one on the left. You're gonna go for that uh, one, I'm right? I'm going the which hut? down here. Yeah, the, the, the penthouse. penthouse yeah, just down here. Okay. I got this hut, Ian, get out of here. This is, this is my hut. <laughs> this is wild. I can't believe no one is here. I truly cannot believe no one is here. Paul's getting the Instagram bangers. So we can use kayaks while we're waiting for the lunch. I think we're gonna get the drone up. Uh, the lunch should be here any second now and uh, I'm super hungry so we can go kayaking here. Who would have known? That's yeah. a plate right there, baby. It's about to disappear. That's <laughs> I have never seen a buffet line this big on a beach like this. Oh my gosh, look at the view and we got our lunch right here. Absolutely zero complaints. This is the lunch spot for the day. Woo, food, view. Food, view, and it's gonna be gone in a second. All right, lunch was absolutely delicious. Unfortunately, a ton of other people showed up. Now we're heading to the next spot, Kayangamin Lake, which is in Koron Island. You got like the kid size life jacket. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. But we made it to Kayaman Lake and this is in Koron Island. So we're gonna do like a five, 10 minute walk and we're gonna be at a freshwater lake right out here in Koron Island. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Is that a lizard? Yeah, monitor lizard. Um, a monitor? Monitor. Wow. You gotta be careful. You don't wanna get eaten by a lizard out here. <laughs> And this is the start of it. It looks like there's a couple shops. Uh, I know there's a bathroom right up here. There's some stalls, you can buy water, some chips. It might be a little more pricey, but. And it's kind of cool. We did all the tours in reverse. So we're hoping that there aren't too many people here. There's still a good amount of boats here, but I don't think it's gonna be as much as there was this morning. And this is the walk to Kaiungman Lake. Right up these steps. A few minutes later, we should be there. It's like a 10, 15 minute walk from where we stopped the boat at. We should, uh, we should be there shortly. Ooh, there's a lot of tourists coming down. I just heard Ian say it in his vlog, it's 367 steps. Ooh. When you're not in shape, it's not fun. <laughs> and I can see the lake over there. But it looks like everyone's here for the Instagram spot, which is like right over there. Get a beautiful shot right out there. Check it out, wow. This is wild. We're gonna skip that spot right now. There's way too many people over there. So we're gonna keep going straight and we're gonna head to the lake. We should be there in like one second. It's literally in front of our face. 
Woo, I think we made it. This is Kayagaman Lake. This is incredible, like no one's here either. Oh my goodness. And this is a freshwater lake out here right in the middle of Corona Island and there's not too many people here which is really, really nice but we're heading right this way. Looks like there's a little spot we can put some stuff down. This water is so crystal clear. You can see, you can see pretty much 10, 20 feet below and it just drops down. It's pretty deep in the middle they say but this water is crazy clear. Don't cross it. Is that where the octopus is at? No, it's just uh, yeah. here in, in, in 2017, there's uh, two people drowning on the other side. Oh, they drowned over there? Yeah. Okay. That's right. right now it's... Don't cross over there. <laughs> so I guess someone drowned and uh, I don't know if it's the octopus that took them. There's a myth that says there's an octopus that haunts these lakes, but hopefully we don't find him. I think we're going to jump in in a second. incredible little swim session it's so beautiful out here I honestly feel like avatars based out of this. this is absolutely beautiful limestone to your left limestone to your right and it's a fresh water lake right out here right now we're heading to our last spot for the day Biracuda Lake so we're gonna probably get some shots at the main spot over here and then head over to Biracuda Lake and after a short little boat ride we made it over to Biracuda Lake which is another freshwater lake on Crone Island and we were not the first ones there now, there's a total of 13 lakes on Crone Island, however, two you're able to visit and actually swim in. You can't even see anything in this lake. When you look down, it's just dark. I swear, if the octopus is in this lake, we're toast. Oh my goodness. Literally, anything can swim up to you. You won't even know until like the last second you're done. I don't even want to think about it. We ended up leaving Barracuda Lake and overall had an incredible day on in Crone Island at some of my favorite spots to check out. Crone is definitely a must visit if you're coming out to the Philippines. I'm really hoping the drone shots will convince you guys to come. Book your own private tour and select where you want to go. That's the way we did it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. What an incredible day it was out here. Right now we're heading back to the hotel. It's almost dinner time and maybe some beer pong tonight because these guys have been talking a lot of trash. Who's yeah. <laughs> up? Okay. Okay. Who's gonna be winning? <laughs> we're gonna head back to the hotel right now, chill for a little bit, and uh, yeah, maybe get some beer pong action in. So I'm heading out right now. We're gonna go to Paul's Hostel. Uh, their hostel is literally right around the block and we're gonna catch the sunset because it's a good spot and play a little beer pong, hopefully. <laughs> San Miguel, 80 pesos. Sunset, priceless. Ah, I love this. I love beer pong because there's always brand new rules being made. Oh my goodness. For balls. All right, I should have done it. We'll see what happens. All right, it's down two to two. Oh, we'll see. Oh. For the camera. Shoot. Oh my god. We got the winners right over here. Champions. Oh man. Oh! Elbows. Elbows, man. We called it. Elbows. Elbows. This one I really. Yeah! That's two boys. Murphy's Oh! All right, so we just made it back to Balabinda. We had an incredible burrito. The Mexican place was open today, so I'm happy. And we're about to have a massage in our room. So when you're at Balabinda, you can hire a massage and have them come to your room. Enjoy your massage. See you later. See you soon. I'll, I'll catch you. I'll catch you. We'll chat after. Enjoy your massage. All right. Too easy. Thanks for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog out here in Coron from yesterday. Coron Island is the most beautiful place in all the Philippines in my opinion. And our stay out here at Balibinda for the last six nights, tonight's our sixth night, was absolutely incredible, especially the massage that ended my night yesterday. I honestly slept like a baby. So I highly recommend, if you guys are coming to Coron, check out Balabinda. It's right in the heart of Coron town. We're literally two to three minutes away from the port and walking. And I absolutely love the island hopping tours all the way to Coron Island, which they set us up with yesterday which you can book tours 
right through Balabinda. So I hope you guys enjoyed my 30 days out here in the Philippines. There was a couple road bumps from the weather to losing my cell phone, but we rolled with the punches and we had an incredible time out here in the Philippines. And welcome to my channel. If you guys are brand new to the channel, I noticed a lot of you guys came from the Lost LeBlanc channel within the last week or two. I basically quit my job earlier this year in January in San Francisco, California, and I've been traveling for about eight to nine months full time, creating beautiful vlogs all throughout Southeast Asia. So I have vlogs in Bali, I have vlogs in Indonesia, I have vlogs in Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, ton of different countries in Southeast Asia, also a couple out in Australia. So welcome to the channel. Again, if you guys are brand new, check out all the content that I've been making over the last eight to nine months. And if you guys have any questions for traveling out in Southeast Asia specifically, comment down below. Make sure you guys smash that like button, hit that notification bell so you guys are notified for the next couple and coming vlogs. Basically, I'm gonna be going back to Thailand tomorrow, heading back to Bangkok for about seven, eight, nine days, I think. And then I'm gonna start island hopping part two, which is voted by my Instagram community. So basically picking out out three islands in Thailand which I'm really really excited to go to and uh, I'm gonna show you guys through some beautiful content and beautiful vlogs out in Thailand so welcome to the channel if you guys are brand new I'm really really excited for my Thailand vlog series coming out about a week and a half and I hope you guys enjoyed all the videos that I'm producing out in the Philippines thank you guys so much for watching welcome to my channel welcome to the community again and I'll catch you guys in hopefully my Thailand vlog series thank you guys so much for watching